I've lent my support to one for the boys, just the simple fact that sometimes guys feel like they kind of push through little niggling pains and injuries. I think it kind of goes back to playing football and just like, yeah, to push through it. But when it comes to cancer, it's one of those things that if you're able to be a little bit more aware and, and you check out yourself and, and if you find something that doesn't feel right and it's lingering on for a certain period of time, to actually go and get a checkup. And I feel like with men's health, it's often uh, more than not that men don't want to bring that conversation to the table. People seem to be too embarrassed just to, to check themselves regularly. It's kind of a taboo subject, really. It's not something that I spoke about that much between different lads. My grandfather had cancer, and I remember um, when he was going through the battle, not really being able to speak with him so much about it, or him kind of saying, oh, you know, I'm strong, I've got this, and it's something that I think society should recognize more, and that us as people and as men, we should talk about. I've had my own sort of scares and, and concerns about cancer in the past. I think there's probably a certain sense of which it'll never happen to you and you just carry on like that, living your life. Everybody likes a good beat, everybody likes to dance. You know, dance has got a history of, of, of doing great things and bringing people together. By definition, uh, electronic music is about futurism. You know, techno is about futurism. As a community, as a whole, that progressive attitude can make real changes in, in the life that we're looking to lead in the next century or the next decade, you know? So if there's anything to start with, we start with the things that are really impacting our world, like cancer. The significance of dance music uniting for this cause is that it has no, no creed, no color, no religion. It just, it's, some, it's a feeling.